finally arrived, Jedi. I seek to reclaim the honor that you stole from me. I challenge you here, outside of the battle circle. This time, we fight to the death. <laughs> What are you doing out here? It's dangerous for your guy. For a non-Mandalorian. Although you've shown promise by making it this far. Maybe you can prove your worth by giving me a hand. Mandalore sent me out here personally to track a ship that landed in the area. No, it wasn't them. That ship was damaged and screaming its ID signature all the way down. This one was trying to slip in quietly, and it was keeping its eye on emissions to a minimum. Our sensors almost didn't pick it up. Just this corpse here. Looks like a scout, and pretty green, too. The fool walked right into a group of Canucks and got torn apart. He can't have been the only one crawling around here. If there's more, we need to take them out. You up for some action? What happened to Lon? He got swarmed by those little beasts. I think they're called Canucks. I hope this mission is worth it to the Colonel. If not, wait. Did you hear that? That's her. Get her. <laughs> Set the staging camp up here. This jungle just... Lieutenant, two of our scout patrols haven't reported back. Do more? Nothing is worth this. More beasts! Everyone, attack! I found more of their scouts but they started shooting as soon as they saw me. I heard blaster rifle fire coming from deeper in the jungle. You find anything? I'm surprised they wouldn't talk to you. I thought their grudge was only with Mandalorians. Find out anything useful from them? Colonel, huh? Could be Colonel Tobin. Tobin is General Vaklu's personal cat hound. If he's on your trail, you might want to steer clear of Onderon. Hmm. I'm not surprised. He was probably acting on orders from Vaklu. If so, you've made some dangerous enemies. General Vaklu is the cousin of Queen Talia. He's also in charge of the Onderon military. He led the Onderon resistance when we occupied their world during the Mandalorian Wars. He was a worthy foe. Maybe more than a match for you. Mandalore needs to know about the scouts. I'll let him know your role. You there, I... I am in need of your assistance. I'm Kumis. Zargo is not wrong in thinking me dead. We assume that any Mandalorian who does not report back within a day has been taken by the jungle. I still live. I am just in a difficult situation. Stranger, and 
you didn't have to help us. All right, if you say so. Again, you have my gratitude. Kelborn says you are worthy enough to face champions. You know, I'm glad I found you again, General. We were together at Malachor. I don't know if anyone else could understand. You getting philosophical on me? I'm here because you found me on Telos and I decided to come along for the ride. Not that I had much choice after we got going. Tired of me already? I was frustrated. Watching the Athorians getting pushed around by Zerka, I thought I could make a difference, but it was taken away from me. Guess if one planet was good enough for me, why not the galaxy? You just have to know what the circuits look like. Only if you don't have any more questions, General. Was there something you wanted me for? away the champion of the battle circle this day. We will not Miranda! forget your deeds, or the honor you have earned this day. You defeated Braylor in the battle circle. Either you're very lucky, or you're a lot tougher than you look. Kelborn said you dispatched some covert military scouts in the jungle with him. He spoke highly of your work. Zuka told me you helped out with some repairs around the base. I was hoping you'd prove yourself more with a lightsaber, but it's certainly a great help. The gate guard said you managed to kill a Zakik. Those are tough beasts, Jedi. You've earned some respect around here. Zarga told me that you returned one of our sheep to the herd. You have gained some small prestige by helping Kumas. How many Kanoks did you have to kill to find those parts for Zuka? That was a tremendous help. I won't forget it. You've made quite a reputation around here. You did better than I thought you could. I was planning on heading to Isis tomorrow. But I'll move up the timetable and take you now. Hmm. One, two, three. Mandalorians, we've got company. Stealth targets have breached our perimeter. Wait a moment. I sense there is a disturbance in the camp. Our enemy has tracked us here. I did not expect them so soon. How did they get here, I wonder? Regardless, we must eliminate them all. None of them can escape. Our whereabouts must remain a secret. Let us join the battle. Our allies will need our help. Seems trouble follows the one of regular phases. I think it's best for both of them to get twice immediately. Grab your gear. My men will take care of cleaning up the mess. saying that the Republic ship attacked first? That's madness! Unfortunately, lie or not, it's a madness people will believe. The timing of this is atrocious. A space battle above our skies? So many of our fighters lost? Curiously, only Tobin's men were involved in that battle. That's Shuta! Strong word, Your Majesty. But there is no good time for news like this. 
I recommend we continue with our plan. But won't that bring even more followers to Vaklu's side? Increasing his power? For a time, perhaps. But we both know he's not the true threat. It's his unseen support from the shadows that we must drag out into the light. Then, and only then, can we strike. I fear by then it will be too late. Here we are. City of Ice. It's been shut down tight for months now. General Vaklu is close to declaring martial law. We won't be able to travel too far in the city. Fortunately, I have a friend in this quarter of the city. He's a doctor by the name of Dagon Ghent. His office is on the other side of the market square. <laughs> 